Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt. I work in project management in the field of architectural engineering and in this video I'm going to be talking about streetlights. So streetlights are pretty important for obvious reasons. You need to keep people safe and so you know they can actually see the roads. Um, so this texture pack that I'm using, if you're new to the channel, I use cubed packs. So I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay, so we're right beside uh, Central Park here near the Andea sign there. Yeah, that sign's actually pretty cool, but that's we'll save that for another time. Uh, so this here, I'm going to be talking about streetlights, and I'm going to start off with some different designs. So a lot of these designs, you will obviously need the texture pack for. Uh, you can do you know similar stuff with default or your other texture packs if you want to. Uh, but if you're using Java and you're on version 1.14.4, I don't know why I'd use anything else. So this here, we'll start with this. So we have these here. This is just uh, black going up, and then you have the gray across here. So uh, these black blocks, they are biome dependents, but so are these ones. So if you cross them here, since biomes are vertical in this version, we can't actually change these ones to black here. So with these here too, uh, a lot of our streetlights, actually all of our streetlights in Andea, these here, these are not actual light emitting blocks. So we have uh, different blocks for that. So sometimes we will put an end portal right under here, which emits light. Uh, we have this here on top just to give it a little bit, but obviously that one and that one, they're not gonna reach the ground. So something that we like to do, we didn't do it here, uh, but we will occasionally take a beacon and put it right under here just to give it a little bit of light around here. Uh, another little trick you could do is you could put a piece of glowstone or a seed lantern or something right under here and then you could just have a trap door so that it looks like it's emitting light uh, but it, from the top but it's actually not. Uh, okay so we have this black one here. Uh, this one over here this is one of our older ones this is one of the gray ones here. Um, I might decide to add these little banners on the other ones. Uh, but with these banners here too, I live in Ottawa. So if you're ever in downtown Ottawa, especially near parliaments or any of the major government buildings, you'll notice that there's a lot of these banners here, either advertising events or, you know, stuff that's just going on around the city. So this is here. This is just a nice little detail you can add to your city just to spice it up a little bit. Okay, so this one here, this is a beacon. And I just kind of added this. So for the pedestrians here, if you're walking along and it's dark out, um, you know, you, you have this little light source. It, it gives you a little more comfort. And so you can see we have them all the way down there as well. Uh, it's likely that we're going to replace all these ones with the black ones, but I, I may decide to keep these. Uh, okay, so if we fly down here a little bit, there's an intersection that you can see coming up. We have our street lights, or sorry, our uh, stoplights, and then we have our street lights on top of it right here. So these ones are obviously much, much taller. Uh, these ones here are our standard ones. They are 13 blocks tall, and these ones I would guess probably about 17, 18, 19 blocks tall. Obviously, if you put a piece of glowstone right here, it's not going to reach the ground. So you're going to have to be a little bit creative with that. Okay, so if you have a median here, so this here too, this is just kind of, um, I mean, it's not an actual median. It's just kind of the lines in between. I guess up here we have an actual median. If you wanted here too, you could take these, you could bump it up, and then you could have street lights in the middle that go up, and then they just double out on either side. So instead of it looking like this, you're just gonna take this part and then flip it and copy and paste it right over here. So it gets both sides. So you get it on that side and on that side there. Okay, uh, next thing I wanna talk about is where you actually place them. So with street lights, you'll notice they are always on the curb. And I wanna talk about curbs for a second too. The curb is just this little thing that goes up one, two. Usually it's just up one block and then you have your sidewalk right at the uh, same level there. Now just ignore this, this is elevation changes. We'll talk about that in a different video. So the thing with curbs too, I know some people like to not use curbs because they, they don't think it looks good. Uh, I'm here to tell you that you should because curbs are designed for safety. So the thing about curbs, if you have somebody walking on the sidewalk here and then you don't have a curb, so say this right here is the exact same level as right here and you have a car coming this way and for whatever reason the car decides to swerve, they could potentially hit a pedestrian if there is no curb. But the thing about curbs, it's not going to completely prevent it because vehicles can and sometimes do go over the curb. But the thing about it is that if your wheel is at only a slight angle, like instead of being straight on like this, Say, for example, it's kind of like this. It may deflect it back and, you know, wake the driver up. Um, obviously, if you're going straight at it like this to, towards the curb, you're, the vehicle's going to go up. That's dangerous, obviously. But this here, too, the curbs, they, they're just designed for safety. So please, please use them. 
So, okay, back to street lights. So I wanted to talk about curbs because your street lights are always going to be on the curb. I don't know why you would ever have them down here. So please put them on your curb. So you can either put them right here. You can, you can put them right on the edge if you want to, but here's kind of the ideal spot. Here we just kind of put them here just to uh, mess with the proportions a little bit. Um, but yeah, so keep, the, keep them on your curb. So the thing about uh, proportions here. So you'll notice here we have one here. We have another street light right there and then we have another one right there so they are kind of spaced apart a little bit uh, which is what this thing here is for and i'll talk to, uh, i'll talk to that in a second so these here these are 13 blocks tall and i believe it's five blocks that they go out um this is a one two three four lane road plus you have this uh you know the, these uh, cross check lines right here so if you were to have a road that was only this lane and only this lane and then you had another curb right here these would not fit these would look really really weird because they're ridiculously tall and you know if your road stops right here it, it, it just looks a little bit off so i would recommend playing with your proportions a little bit you know um making it taller or shorter or you know pulling it out or in right here uh just keep working with that until it looks a little more realistic so okay so now i'm gonna get back to this thing here so what is this thing this thing it, it just shows or each of these segments is 10 blocks so that's 10 blocks that's 10 blocks same thing on the other side and how do we actually space them apart so this here is 41 blocks total the key point here is always 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 have your street lights at an odd numbered blocks apart okay so if we had 40 then these two would be connected and this one wouldn't be there so this is the midpoint right in the middle at block number 21 from there and 21 from there okay so if we look at this here and we just look straight up what's that on the other side that's a street light okay so this is the way that i design street lights this is the way that our builders in andia design street lights and this is how we place them so you will have an uneven gap or an odd numbered gap between them so this is number 41 here so this section is 20. this section is also 20. So you have your midpoint and then directly across the road from your midpoint is your other one here. Okay. And then if we look up here to this next one here, this gap between this one and this one, that is the same size as this right here. Okay. So you're going to want to do that the entire time. Obviously, when you get crossroads like this and you have a gap of 40 between this street light and the next one, it's likely that your placement is going to tell you that you're going to place it right here, which, you know, obviously you can't. So this one here, just skip it, okay? You skip it, and then you just go to the next one here. So then the gap between this would be, what, 82, if the other one's 41? So you just double it. Well, I guess you had a, an extra one, too, for the actual block itself, so 83. Okay. So there you go. There's how you place them. And now we are going on to how you actually get the lighting in there. So I talked a little bit about this, but I'm just going to touch on it again. So do not use actual light blocks for here because they're going to be too high up if you want them to actually look realistic. Uh, this here too, this is more just for decoration. So the actual light sources, uh, we'll see if I can find one. So what we like to do, aha, here's one. Okay, this here, you're obviously, obviously gonna need world edit for. This here is an end portal. So they do emit light. So if I just do P time night, you can see here, actually my shaders are messing with it. It's, it's very, very dim down here. So we do need to work on this, but you can see that this actually lights up this block. So all of the white blocks there, you can see that they do look lit up even though they actually aren't. That one there doesn't have it. We need to do that. Uh, but yeah, so you have your lantern up here as well. And then again, down here, uh, we need to replace this with a beacon or something uh, solid, just so, you know, we have the light down here. Uh, on Cubed, we used to have this plugin where directly underneath here, you could place fake light sources. So right here, I would just put it to the maximum amount it would allow. And it did re look uh, pretty realistic. But the only issue with that is we also get quite a few lighting glitches which we use a command to clean them with so that was an issue because it just kept resetting it but uh yeah that is pretty much it 
So if you guys want uh, more videos like this, or you want me to talk about other stuff in the city, just, just small stuff, you know, this one was about street lights. So I don't know if you want me to talk about road markings or stuff like that, just quick videos, then let me know in the comments. So yeah, that's it. Anyway, um, I will see you guys next time.